Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my Angel April reading. April Angel reading, I think I said that backward, I apologize. For 2016, so let's dive in and, and focus on what an angel messages are coming forth for this month. And I'm going to be using my Dorian Virtues Angel Dream Deck. And I'm going to be using the Lenorm Celtic Lenormand. Um, and doing my Angel Celtic Cross. So, those are not cool. so focusing on everyone, everyone's April, what messages the angels want for everyone to know. And do keep in mind this is a general message. If you want a reading specifically to your energies, I will have a link below to follow. This is travel. So there's some sort of movement. Journey, path, location is coming up. So for some, this can be literally you're going to be taking a trip by air or by boat. And I'm seeing the en energy that is important outside of the literal could be travel for some is the air element and the water element and connecting them. They're showing me the bridge and the air and the emotion. So the air. The intellect and the emotion being bridged. So bringing some sort of connection or something together between, you know, the intellectual mind and the emotion. So sometimes the mind is what can take us astray when we really need to be following our emotions, our heart. Uh, and sometimes our emotions can become too heavy too. And, it's, it, and it, there needs to be a balance is what I'm hearing, what I'm sensing. So that is a big energy that's coming from that card outside of, the literal, you could be taking a trip. Um, and the journey can be all about the spiritual journey and where you're at within it. So you see all those energies in this card. So let's see what comes up from the Celtic Lenormand. Focusing on April angels. What you want us to know for our April angels. Thought. And this one is all about mountain. This is the mountain. It's all about blockages, obstacles, and it could be the needing to bring emotion and the mind into balance to uh, get over an obstacle or something that's blocking the way. What the angels are seeing as important for April, and we have partnership, connections. So this can come in many ways too. This can come in romance, jobs, connecting to something that you want financially, bridging and connecting the mind and the emotion to come to an agreement. So very beautiful messages opening message so this is the most important is that connection and our connections and our support team and who you know we can rely on and this is the ring I do believe this is the ring in the Celtic but I go by more of what I see it and the ring is all about um, commitments as well crossing this for the positive and it is success so there's some sort of successful completion to a commitment or to to a connection to something that you want um, for some this can be work related because I'm seeing the eight of pentacles is important the eight of um, pentacles is all about you know, work and finances but there's success here you have the key you're holding the key to this connection that you want the harmony the harmonious energies of the six um, three spring me I feel is all about communication so needing to come to a harmonious again bringing things together Harm, you know, with harmony is the key to success um, to the work you know that you've done or needing to work on that energies to bring this commitment and this connection into um, fruition. The next one is the foundation of the month and what the angels are helping um, with. And it is the Six of Cups and the Star card in the Lenormand. So it's all about destiny energy and they're helping with again the path and this this is like following that north star and they're helping you 
not to get too far off of course. Of course there is free will, but they're helping you stay in the course that's going to be the most positive for you ultimately and where you're really, your higher self is, you know, taking you. Um, so they want you to kind of refocus. So they're helping you refocus on your higher self and the, and the true path. So it could be things trying to pull you off of the connection, the successful connection and commitments that you're supposed to be making. So like a refocus, a re, um, like a GPS, you know, like a reshifting um, of those energies. So you're not too, too far off of course is what I'm getting. And it's kind of all lining up with the um, ship and the, with the plane. So that's how they're helping. And it could, it could be about a Six of Cups energy for some. It doesn't have to be. For some it could be about work. For some it could be about Six of Cups energy, which are is nostalgia, relationships from the past, karmic relationships, past life relationships that you're um, involved in. And, um, but, you know, it's also ultimately that destined energy of where your, your higher self is wanting to head, head, wanting you to head to, um, and where you're meant to be going and not being pulled off. Recent past is the stork. So again, a change of direction. Okay. The stork is all about moving, changing something. Um, the stork can also be about mothering or something new coming in. But, you know, it too is all about direction and migration and where we're ultimately headed. So there may be something that came up in the energies about that. Like, where am I headed? Where am I going? Where, you know, am I ultimately going to be, you know, like nesting? She's on the top of this building. And so, like, really looking out, maybe, you know, making plans to move or change. But um, these energies are coming up in the recent past. And I'm seeing the Queen of Cups in here. And so the Queen of Cups is all about that emotion. And how, you know, you can see this you know, mother bird taking care of the little one. How they take care of other people. How they nurture other people. And, you know, it could have something to do with the emotion in this card. Um, and, and how that, you know, how that works for that person. Or uh, there's something about that energy here in the recent past. Future message from the angels for April, and we have the eight of we have the moon, which is the eight of cups, and the full moon. And I feel the full moon time frame is going to be important in April for some. Eight of cups is about uh, you know, an emotional journey. You know, what, where are you headed emotionally? The best path for you, for your emotional fulfillment, for you to be able to be this queen of cups. I mean, you need to be able to do that. And I feel for some, you've been assessing this, you know, where you're headed, where you're going to be most comfortable, who you're going to be most comfortable with. And so this is a part of that as well. The next full moon, they're telling you you're going to have more direction. You're going to have more success in, in the direction of the connection that you're meant to have. And you're going to know that more in this next upcoming full moon. Because the eight full moons into 2016, there's a lot of shifting and changing and things happening around them. But you're going to be more on course or back course directed for some. So for some, it's going to be different. Um, you know, but you're going to be more, you know, realigned to where you were meant to be going before. I feel the eclipses happen in March. So definitely those energies here. Next one is the future message, and it is the ship. So again, movement, travel. Um, you know, and this is all about that energy of. You know, a change, and I feel the ten of ten of swords in the corner here, kind of push that water. Ten of swords is all about painful endings, and it kind of caused some, again, you know, something to come up that maybe pushed you off course. And so this 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 ship is headed back in. So things coming back into alignment and direction and some movement. And of course, this could be travel for some, but you know, I feel it's just an energy moving. Next one is something to do for yourself in April, and we have Communicate Harmoniously. This is the, the songbirds, and it's beautiful music, so you may want to play beautiful music. You may want to listen to nature sounds or, you know, that type of thing, but it's communicating harmoniously and finding ways to be harmonious with other people, and almost brings up even like the Three of Pentacles, like teamwork, 
that type of thing. And patience. The Seven of Pentacles is all about patience as well. Spiritual message for April. We have the lily. I think this is the lily. And it's um, peace. It too is peace. It's, you know, calm and peaceful energies. It can be about a masculine energy. This king of swords down here. And this can also be an older male or about sexuality. It can be all of those things. And again, we see that communication number with the three, bringing things together. But ultimately, I see peace energy in here as well. So that is the spiritual message. A outcome for April, we see the bear, so stronger, something very strong. The bear is representative of authority, of somebody that is in control of the situation. And um, let's see what else they say here. Heaviness. And, the, and this female energy. So it's like a mama bear. Right? We see the mama bear here. We see the um, stork energy, the mothering energy here. So the, the mama bear kind of being very protective of what's going on. Again, maybe where she's headed, where she needs to be to be that mother, to be that, be in her ultimate energy of the queen of cups and nurturer, taking care of other people, having her energy in the place where she needs to do that. Um, so this can be a logistics for some, you know, real places in the world that you need to go. For others, this is an energy of who you need to be to be this person um, for yourself and for your family, ultimately. And um, I just want to pull one more, see where she's looking. And she's looking towards the dog that is looking back towards her. So kind of like she's looking for that loyalty. She's looking for that unconditional love that lets her be strong that you know gives her that support that never you know this dog is constantly looking towards her constantly looking for her and she for it so, so it's just calling out to that loyalty she's calling out to that unconditional love that unconditional support that ultimately never leaves he may stray down to the beach but he's coming back and that energy of this what this represents allows her to be this strong woman that she, so she can take care of not only the pet, but the family and everyone involved and herself um, and be who she's meant to be and flourish in that energy. So isn't that beautiful? Um, so it's like a course direction and really following your emotional heart. Follow, go to where, you're, where you are going to be emotionally fulfilled and um, your higher self is leading you there and you, you can't lose. You're going to have a successful connection as long as you follow that inner guidance um, and knowing where you're going to be emotionally calm, brought into an emotional calm. This is all about calm energy and support. So I love how that has come out from this April reading. If you have any questions, you can comment below. You can send me an email. If you'd like your own personal reading, I will have a link below in my shop. And I'm also doing Skype um, audio sessions only, and I'm booked up till mid-April. But you can send me an email for more information as well. Anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful and blessed April. Angel blessings, oceans of love.